My name is Garland Richards. I'm attending a Texas historical firearms event in uh, close to Austin and, and uh, representing Fort Chadburn, which is a historical site in between San Angelo and Abilene area. And I brought, uh, I brought a firearm down to, to basically show and tell. This is an 1858 uh, Remington. It was originally a cap and ball pistol. Sometime during its life in between the Civil War and, and the uh, Indian Wars, it was converted to a cartridge. You can see the loading gate uh, back in the back here. This particular uh, uh, pistol belonged to a double Medal of Honor recipient. Uh, he received his first Medal of Honor during the Civil War receives a second Medal of Honor in Texas uh, uh, in the Indian Wars, just right to the east side of Lubbock. Uh, name is Frank D. Baldwin, and he's one of only 19 dual Medal of Honor recipients, and this happens to be his sidearm that he carried all the way from through the Civil War, from the Civil War, all the way through the, uh, through the Philippines. Uh, it uh, has his name engraved in, in the in the backstrap, and the uh, uh, and, and it's it's neat to be able to tie a historical item uh, directly back to the person. It's almost like uh, being able to walk up and shake his hand. Uh, dual Medal of Honor recipients are 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 are, are rare. Uh, and, and to be able to trace and, and document a uh, dual Medal of Honor recipient firearm that was there and actually util utilized uh, from the Civil War all the way to the Philippines is, is something that's pretty incredible. He liked the firearm so well that, that, that he modified it uh, to, to go from from an obsolete weapon to uh, to to a, a firearm that was uh, capable of firing cartridges, and but it's a it's an 1858 Remington, and it's uh, it's part of it, it's it's part of West Texas history.